Hey folks, it's Chris Garlock, I'm Managing Editor of the American Goat E-Journal, and I'm here with Michael Redman, Nine Down Professional. Hey Michael, how's it going? Hi Chris. Uh, we just wanted to do a very quick update on uh, what we're planning next. Michael's about to do a big class in Japan. He's going to be tied up with that for a couple of weeks. Uh, but we'll be back in a few weeks with a brand new series. And uh, what we're going to do is just a very quick recap on the recent AlphaGo match, a little bit of a comparison between that and last year's historic match, uh, and then a little bit of a peek at our next series. So. First up, Michael, um, just back from China, you've had a chance to sort of get over the, uh, the you know, historic uh, match there. What are your thoughts looking back on, on the recent match? Well, I think Keche was really trying to change his style to match AlphaGo in a way. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, maybe he actually even saw the uh, set of 50 games, got a peek at it earlier because he is uh, emphasizing the 3-3 point a lot in his games, especially the first game. Um, and trying some different tactics against AlphaGo, which it turned out they didn't really work very well, but um, that's just because AlphaGo is so strong. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then one of the things that sort of jumped out to me was, you know, Isidol, you know, went in essentially blind last year, had seen very, very few games, uh, actually thought he was going to win, uh, mm -hmm. although I think he was disabused of that pretty quickly. How would you compare and contrast the two matches? Well, I think that Lee Sedo saw very little apart from the games that Fran Hui played, sure. which were professional level, but they were not close to Lee Sedo's level. Mm. Um, and so he, um, I know that I didn't realize that five months was a huge amount of time for the AI mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. how they could, how fast it was playing against itself and against other programs, for instance. Um, and so it was, it actually had about a lifetime or probably more time. Um, of experience in that five months. So um, Lee said, oh, maybe he didn't realize that. And um, after a couple of games against it, he realized. So that maybe there were um, one or two wasted games, you might say, that it, mm. um, he spent learning um, how strong AlphaGo was. So it seemed like Kajé had a real advantage. I mean, he saw what happened last year. He had the 60 games to look at. Um, and then, as you say, possibly he even got a sneak peek at those 50 uh, self-play games that we're going to take a look at. Well, uh, Google um, DeepMind did use a comment from Xi Yue, who was one of the top, top Chinese mm -hmm. players, um, to sort of advertise how great these 50 games are. Mm -hmm. And so it's clear that they did show it to some Chinese professionals at least, or at least one. And um, just looking at the things that Koje tried, um, in his games, I get the feeling that maybe he saw them too. So it could actually, in this case, it could be that um, he saw too much because <laughs> these 50 games are so different um, that it could be uh, a bit um, disturbing to the player, actually. Yeah. It's disturbing yeah. to me. All these 3 3 invasions, if <laughs> you'll just let me jump into the 50 game series here, um, it um, it's jumping into a 3-3 point uh, in more than half of the games. Right. And then since AlphaGo is playing both sides, then the other player um, jumps into the 3-3 point too, very early in the game. So it's it's a, something that we were taught not to do as we learned to play the game. So it's just sort of almost a taboo uh, in human play. And, um, and so it's playing the 3-3 point, the early 3-3 point invasion in more than 50 game, fifty. It's playing it more than 50 times in the 50 games. So it's in, in some of the games, it's playing it three times. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah. So it's both players are playing these early invasions, and um, it's happening more than one time in most of the games. But this, this, as you say, this runs pretty contrary to what you're taught as a professional. So... Mm -hmm. I get, and we'll get into this in our new series in a couple of weeks. But I mean, you know, you're still a competing professional. I mean, what is this doing to professional play? Some people are trying it out. Um, I think personally, I just don't have a story to fit to these 3 3 invasions. I don't have a reason mm. for them to work. Um, and when it's AlphaGo playing against itself, I don't really know if it's working just because it's a computer game or, or not. And so there's a big question there. I'm, with only 50 games to work with, I don't think I have enough to... It'll be difficult to make a decision like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the things that I'm going to be working on. I have taken a peek at the middle games, which are mm -hmm. really going to be very exciting. And they look very. They look like they're um, top level. They're, they're going to be very, very exciting to comment on. And I just haven't had time to go into the end games. 
Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be interested to see what happens in the end games and the close games, but because my, right. um, my suspicion is that it's going to be very good at the end game, um, but we haven't been shown that yet. So I'm going to I haven't really act, had time to get that far into the games. I'm focusing on openings so far and just taking some looks at the middle game. But the middle game is probably going to be the most exciting part of the commentaries. Well, uh, I know that I, like I'm sure all of our viewers out there, cannot wait. So, you know, go. I'm, I'm, I, good luck with your class. I think it's going to be very exciting, and we'll hear more about that. But, uh, uh, you know, definitely keep studying those games. And folks, yes. stay with us. We'll be back in a couple of weeks, and we'll start up a whole new series and take a look at these self-played games. So yes. thank you, Michael. Thanks for all the wonderful commentaries to uh, you and the entire team. And I look forward to uh, talking to you again in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Chris. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you soon.